Hello friends, welcome to Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church. We are taping this on Monday and today is the first day of school. I don't know about you, but my Facebook feed this morning was just full of photographs of people who were taking pictures of their kids going off to the first day of school, whatever grade it was, whether it was the first time kindergartner or the person who's a senior and is going off to the first day of school for the last time in uh, their uh, elementary and secondary education, whatever it was. I saw all kinds of interesting outfits. Some of them I could tell were carefully curated to go to that first day of school. Some other kids kind of exhibiting the I don't care kind of look uh, as they dress for school, but most of them were smiling. Uh, most of them looked like they were having a great time getting ready to go off to school. Uh, no homework has been assigned yet, right? What's, what's not to like? But uh, I'm sure there were some kids who were pretty nervous too, and some parents who were pretty nervous about their kid going to a new school or a new level of education or that youngest child going to school for the first time. All of those things that uh, cause some uh, flutters, some anxiety, making you think about things as time is marching on because it does. One of the things that's true, no matter what is happening in our lives, is that God is faithful and God is constant. Even as we change and as things change in our lives, God is always there. God is always with us. So when we're excited about the newness of a first day of school, of a new school year, all the fun stuff that comes with that, the new school supplies and the starting some different classes, all of those things, God is present there. And when things a little bit later in the semester or at any time in our lives when things seem kind of humdrum and just seem to be going along the same, not changing much at all, you know, God is present in that routine. And in that, what seems like a real doldrum sometimes, God is there also. In Isaiah chapter 40, it says a lot of things about God being present with us. But one of the things it says is this. This is verses 28 and 29. Don't you know, haven't you heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He doesn't grow tired or weary his understanding is beyond human reach, giving power to the tired and reviving the exhausted. So I don't know where you are in your life. Maybe you're pretty excited, like the first day of school where you're just like, oh, I can't wait to see what possibilities will bubble up. Or maybe you're feeling like, gosh, I've just been going along in the same way for a long time. Whatever it is, God comes into that situation to give you the strength that you need to give you whatever it is that you need to keep going, to keep from getting tired, to keep from being overwhelmed and exhausted, and maybe to be able to experience again that little bit of newness because God is always making things new for us. Thanks be to God. Amen.